my name is Vibeke and uh, welcome to everybody to listen to 5 minutes about ADHD and autism. Today I'll talk about the fight, the fight against the screens, the iPad screens, the TV screens, the game screens in all kinds. Because um, many of, of our child with ADHD and autism um, have such have a life filled with stress and um, when they uh, are allowed to to be playing in some kind of uh, uh, screen you know iPad phone computer PlayStation whatever it is then they they somehow they they put themselves in a room where they should not think they should not feel they should not interact in the, any social matter with anybody anybody and it helps them sometimes a lot sometimes it put them into some kind of isolation some kind of, of a space where you don't have to uh, speak you don't have to uh, con- have a conversation you don't have to look at people and even though it might be nice for them because they are so stressed it could be it could be a handicap. It could be somebody who has something which is um, giving them even more problems being social. So, for many of us, us parents, it is a fight. Can we put the screen away when we are eating, uh, when we should sleep, when we are talking, when we are m- looking at a movie together, and all that kind of stuff? Can we do it? Can we? Um, or is it a fight every single day, many times a day? Even uh, in the school, it might be a fight there, because in, in Denmark, at least, every every child has an iPad in the school. It's a school's iPad, but the kids is having it and can put whatever they like on the iPad. Um, so they can uh, they can watch YouTube, they can watch, uh, they can play games, they can do whatever they want to do, whenever they want to do it. So um, it might be. It might be something which is isolating them, and it up, it's up to you as a teacher. Me, I'm a teacher and I'm a mother. It's up to me to to tell them when it is allowed and when it is definitely not allowed, and it might be a fight every day. But some somehow sometimes the screens or the games has uh, helped us a lot in our family too, because before he could have his Game Boy or Nintendo or it's the same. PlayStation, whatever it is, before he could bring that with to the party, to the um, to the sleepover with friends and all that stuff, the family birthday, then he he was suffering. He was suffering from stress and from uh, all the all the people who's talking to him, looking at him, and somehow claiming contact with him. And uh, when he when we bought the first, it was the first thing we bought was a Nintendo DS. Um, he could suddenly be in the party the whole time. He, he didn't need his brakes out in the car uh, just to breathe again. <laughs> or, but he could be at the table. He could look, can I Can I play, mom? And I would say, yes, you can do that for 20 minutes. And then he would be there at the table, but playing on his device. And then I would say, the time is uh, now, now it's time to be social again. And he would put it way, away and be social again. So... It is not only it's not only a disaster f- to our kids, to our families. It's a help too, but it needs to be controlled. I have a kid um, which is not very fond of eating. He actually doesn't like food a lot, and not cookies or anything else either. So it's it's a tough thing to him to be sitting at the table. It's a tough thing, but all uh, when all the family is together and somebody is talking, will you give me a dessert, please? Uh, how was your school day? And all that talk makes him like crazy, stressed. And um, and sometimes in the morning, him and I is eating for ourselves, and the other are not allowed in the kitchen. And then we have a game. It, it could be word base or word feud or, or non feud. A game when where you you are thinking a lot and then you take your turn and then it's not to your turn for a while because the other one takes his turn or her turn that helps him actually to be at the table to to put focus uh, on the food but at, at a game at the same time 
but this game didn't um he, he doesn't need to be active he doesn't need to be clicking or moving or swiping or anything he just had to think and it helps him a lot so sometimes we actually allow games at the breakfast at the meal because it helps him but i i just want you with this video to to think about what does it do to your boy to your boy or girl what does it do to your family are you are you never talking together because everybody is having a device or do you do you control it so it is not the device who controls you or your family or your um, child i just hope i can make a difference with this video